Okay, Avishai, um, we're meeting here in uh, Jerusalem. Given the topic of our conference, what will save the world, Jerusalem is a quite curious place. In Jerusalem there is this claim that they know what will save the world, right? The Messiah, the new Messiah, the return of the Messiah, uh, Judaism, Christianity, Islam. What's your take on that? that, that we know what will save the world? There is something which is called the Jerusalem Syndrome. The Jerusalem Syndrome is that there is a certain kind of madness which is associated with Jerusalem. Really mad people coming with visionary ideas about, I mean, sort of global eschatological ideas. And they really go raving mad in, in towns. And it, it's, it's document. It's not just... It's a name by now, I think, of a genuine, genuine, of a, of a, of a genuine disease. So you basically ask me to be to to talk like a, someone with a Jerusalem syndrome. First of all, I don't think that the world is in danger. I don't think that the world. I think that basically the world is safer now than than it was uh, 50 years ago, when there was that, uh, the polarity of the sort of nuclear, when people really were terrified of nuclear war. The talk about terrorism is overblown, basically. Not that there is no terrorism. And unless you call terrorism is every organization that you dislike. But if by terrorism you mean sort of terror, yeah, there will be more terror on a retail basis, but it's not a danger to the world. I don't believe that terrorism can stop, uh, let's say, what uh, the pirates did in the Mediterranean, they stop the Med Mediterranean trafficking for, for 400 years, 500 years. I don't think that anything of that sort is uh, about to happen. I'm not neither a cultural pessimist, and not an optimist. I don't, I don't see that the world. It will be a different world that people like me won't find, maybe congenial or maybe not, but at least strange. And not that we are not, I am not adaptable already to, to the gadgets that are in the market. The point, the, the main thing is whether the Gutenberg revolution, Gutenberg, namely the printing culture is about to disappear and be replaced by something else. In some sense it's already happening. On the other hand, people read more books now than ever. And then of course the issue of the climate change, which I believe is, is real. So say, if saving the world is saving the planet in the sense of doing something about climate change or what can be done, that's, that's, a, that's a serious problem. I don't believe that it can be done on a, on a sort of, on a retail basis, namely each individual will try to, to, to behave. It's really for the big powers to negotiate, namely United States, China mainly, and so on. Uh, India, or the places that are developing, well, that's serious. But uh, that's about it, namely in terms of really what I find as a, a as real danger. I don't think that our civilization or these civilizations will be transmuted, will be transformed, mutate, and some of us like the direction in which it goes, some of us not. I hear more and more pessimism around me. I know that I'm surrounded by people like me who are simply aging. And it's a syndrome about us and not about the world.